Hi, welcome everybody. We're here with Sarah Lohman. I'm here with Jeffrey Marsh. We're both here together. <laughs> <laughs> and his and Sarah is a historic gastronomist. She studies the history of food. Yeah, American food is you my passion. You have an upcoming book as well I about do. American food I do. and flavors. I do. It's called Eight Flavors and it's going to be at with Simon & Schuster. One of your main missions in life is to help American folks understand their own cuisine, the history yeah. where it came from. I think that is my mission in life. And to feel a sense of pride, I would hope. Oh, I think so too. I think Americans lack a sense of pride in their own cuisine. I think that, okay, if I were to ask you, mm -hmm. name the two most American foods possible. Hot dogs, pizza, uh -huh. hamburger. hamburgers. Yeah, you can name three. <laughs> and I think when people say that, it's, it's almost with like well, hot dogs and hamburgers. I think we've internalized almost the shame in the fact that we don't have American cuisine. We don't yes. have this pride in this heritage that other countries do. And I don't think that's true. So this is the Moosewood Cookbook, which is a classic. It was um, published in 1977. And the Moosewood Restaurant is a restaurant in Ithaca, New York. And this book was kind of revolutionary when it came out because it was a big vegetarian cookbook coming out of a time when America was this very meat and potatoes culture. Indeed. It's all about being to Enjoy taste. cooking, enjoy how it goes. Yeah. You can't do it wrong. Yeah. Let's make something fun. That was really different. So that's why I picked it for you. Yes, it's all together. And you Everybody, can see, it's very well it's loved. It's well loved, I, This yes. is a thrift store copy, and I kind of loved it because it's all like stained and wrinkled and wet and well used, and it's got the mousse in the back too. So okay. it had love before it came to mm -hmm. you, and yeah. now you're loving it. Today. Now I'm loving it too. Yeah. Yes, today. and we get to love it with you. Okay. We're looking at miso soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our veggies for the soup, which is my favorite part. So colorful, so beautiful. So colorful, so beautiful. All, <laughs> You're so all cute, All the Jeffrey. best parts of nature right here. <laughs> we have our miso, which we'll dissolve in water mm -hmm. to start. That's how our recipe gets underway. Yeah, that's how our recipe can guess. You okay. have to dissolve it Good. in water. And we also have some flavorings here. Ginger, mm -hmm. one of my favorite things to put into a soup mm -hmm. here. We've got our dark vinegar and dry sherry. What's over here? Salt, a little bit of sugar, and pepper. And this is green peppers. Uh -huh. And then these are scallions. And our tofu. And our tofu. How about I dissolve the miso and you start sauteing the vegetables. Beautiful vegetables, okay. And, but, Jeffrey, I brought you an apron. Because I thought I picked I this one up for you because I thought you would I was like it. If I would get the polka dots. Yeah, you'll get this one, and I'm gonna get this more subtle black and gold number to go with my autumnal outfit. No, it's beautiful. You're both, beautiful. Both Jeffrey. are beautiful. <laughs> We're both beautiful. Moosewood's beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Everything is These beautiful. These veggies today. are beautiful. Okay, let's do it. Vegetables are so colorful. <laughs> They're so beautiful. I'm it's glad an that artistic you statement. Miso has been popular for thousands of years in Buddhist culture. Yes. And I also picked it because you are Buddhist. Indeed. That's part of the reason I picked this recipe too. Indeed. And there are different kinds of miso. There's the dark, and there's light, and there's uh, barley, and there's soybean. And they've each got these different kind of very rich Things flavors. Are add. Yeah. It's like an instant broth. It's like a bouillon cube in a way. Yes. Yeah. But without meat, meat free. Now that the miso's in, you can put the sherry in. I don't keep cooking sherry around. Who does? It's not the 70s anymore. I bought it for this recipe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like, I don't think anyone's had cooking sherry in their kitchen since the 70s, right? And most people's moms still have a dusty bottle a like in, in the, the back, back of the cabinet since yes. the 70s. But we got it, we're gonna put it in, okay? Do it. So don't. in it goes, boop. And uh, we didn't saute these. I wonder why, we'll find out too. Maybe it won't make a difference. Okay, stir it up a little bit. Why did you pick this particular recipe, the miso soup? Well, Jeffrey, when you asked me to come over and have cooking time with you, which I was really You said, about. should it be vegan? Yes. And I said, oh, yeah. Preferably. Yes. What's your answer? <laughs> Just very coded. <laughs> because or, I yes, assume, it must be. because I am not vegan, which yeah. is one of the things that when our friendship was blossoming, mm -hmm. I really appreciated about you mm -hmm. that you didn't mind that I also will like go to a pig roast on my weekend. Sure, too. I don't mind right. at all. Okay, it's been ten minutes. <laughs> Check on that stuff, Jeffrey. <laughs> what do we got? <gasps> Oh, it looks good. It smells beautiful. Okay, so let's put the tofu in so that it cooks for like just a, just a bloop. Mm, it's beautiful. Beautiful. 
I would like it to be a little bit richer. Yes, or saltier. Mmm. You know what? I think, I think it, you could add more miso, probably. I think you'd add more miso, maybe darker miso. Maybe it just needs a little bit more soy sauce. Mm -hmm. It's okay at the end of the cooking show not to say... I love it. Yeah, not to say I love it. I know that's what you see at the end of every cooking show, but we've never made this recipe before. It's true. So sometimes when you cook something... You some yeah, go ahead, put it in. It not, doesn't turn out perfect. And that's because everything you Life's cook... an experiment. ...should be to, to your own taste. And my taste isn't your taste. Isn't the Moosewood Cookbook's taste. Isn't the Moosewood Cookbook's taste. So it's okay to adjust recipes to be how you like them. Mm. Jeffrey, I love cooking with you. Let's do it more often. Okay. Okay. Deal. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time when we cook together. Mm. Oh, we Shoe cam. That was good. That was good. That's where it turns uh. south. <laughs> <laughs>